Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read this week of February for you who come from Taurus, you are in Taurus and uh, it's from Sunday the 5th up to Saturday the 11th of February. Let's start with Sunday the 5th. Sunday the 5th, there are planets who make you very restless, very impatient, very hasty. They make you say things without thinking and do things without thinking. And that can be bringing problems for you in the morning, afternoon and early evening session. So slow down, be careful what you say and do. And otherwise some mistakes will be made which you will regret. The evening session from about 5-6 p.m. onwards turn very slow. So in the first morning afternoon session very fast planets and then come the very slow planets from the evening and night session. These slow planets are not very helpful to you either. They can bring depression, bring delays, they can make you oversensitive to any criticism as well. So for the whole day, try to keep a low profile, don't want to expose yourself to risk of any kind, mix with people who are friendly. The evening session can end in a very unsatisfying way, not in a bad way, but in an unsatisfying way. Monday the 6th, you start the day very well and plenty of support for you is seen and you are very lucky on Monday the 6th. So at your area, before you leave home, you're already doing well with the people you are with. At your place of work or in business, you get very good news and the morning, afternoon and evening sessions are remaining good. But along with these good planets, there are three planets who want to disrupt the day. Disrupt it by bringing aggression, making you show your temper, taking risks and being over daring and not obeying rules and regulations. And these planets will be in and out throughout the day. So there will be in and out periods where you find opposition, confrontation, provocation from people and then the situation starts to become better off and on like that. So it's an up and down day. But I worry more of the evening session and from about six, 5 or 6 p.m. onwards, these negative planets are in play more than your positive planets. So from 5 and 6 p.m. onwards, watch out that accidents are possible, aggression, opposition, confrontation and provocation comes very readily against you, blame as well. And if you are socializing, be careful of the company you keep because it's the company that you keep on um, Monday the 6th in the night time that may lead you into trouble as well. And watch out for accidents due to your hot temper. So you're ending the day Monday the 6th on a, a bit of a troublesome way. Tuesday the 7th, another good day to start with and it brings plenty of support in areas of career, business and personal areas. This good news comes uh, until about 5 or 6 p.m. when some planets of ego and some planets and only one planet of aggression is remaining. So your evening session from 5 to 6 p.m. you have to be a bit careful not to be arrogant or be aggressive or to be too critical or criticizing others too readily. Otherwise, you will find that the evening session can be spoilt very easily. But the planets of ego are also there. So you might be attracted to somebody in the ego sense or others may be attracted to you. Um, no harm mixing business and pleasure. You may find support from them. But I would advise you even in the evening session of Tuesday the 7th not to show arrogance and to show teamwork. Good to show teamwork. Wednesday the 8th, you start off very slowly and you from Taurus are going to be frustrated. Problems of the past can revisit you as well. And you can be a person on Wednesday the 8th feeling very frustrated and slightly depressed. News will be delayed, the news that you want. So be patient. As the evening comes from 5 to 6 p.m. onwards, a cluster of better planets are seen and you're going to be luckier in the evening and night session. And solutions which you could not find in the earlier part of the day, you will be able to find during the evening and night session. So mix business and pleasure as you socialize. Socialize for bonding with marriage and your romance partner. And you'll find that the company you keep also is very helpful for you in the evening session of Wednesday the 8th. Thursday the 9th is, can be a very difficult day for you. You attract opposition and provocation very fast. You have to be careful what you say and what you do. You cannot afford to show your temper and you need to be a person very polite and agreeable. 
Otherwise, the morning, afternoon and the early evening period tend to be spoiled. And therefore, you meet opposition and cannot move in terms of progress in all areas. A breakdown can easily happen in any area of your life. The evening session from about 6 p.m. onwards, there are planets who tend to make you dominating and stubborn. So it looks like the entire day, there are planets disturbing you. So you can counter this by the entire day being very agreeable, approachable, polite. And this way you will control the day. You will be in charge in a better sense. So the evening session and the night session, when you're socializing, there are business planets there. So no harm mixing business and pleasure, but don't be dominating or be stubborn. Friday the 10th, a slightly better day, but a very egoistic centric day. Makes you very touchy with whatever is being said about you. Teamwork becomes very poor as you think you can do things yourself better. I don't find this as the way to go. Try to be agreeable and work with people, whether it's your romance or marriage or family areas, whether it's colleagues or business people. Otherwise, you could be isolated. That means that they don't want to support you and you'll have to do everything yourself. The evening session from 5 to 6 p.m. on Friday the 10th becomes worse. So the, the, there's some clue that the morning and afternoon and early evening session, you can produce more and more difficulties during the late evening, 5 to 6 p.m. and onto the night session, where danger of accidents can be seen, where difficulties in socializing, where drinking too much and getting accidents, and also being a person who behaves very rebelliously in areas of family and romance areas. So, having heard this from me, be the opposite, be sociable, be agreeable, be approachable and listen to the advice given to you by the people you are with. Saturday the 11th, a much better day for you, a very lucky beginning. The morning, afternoon and even some of the evening sessions play along with you very well. The bonding in romance and marriage, very good. And if you are working on Saturday, you will be also coming up with brilliant ideas. And uh, if you are in business, talk to business contacts, your business partners, business possibilities. You come up with brilliant ideas on Saturday the 11th. The evening session from about 6 p.m. onwards has very fast planets who make you very edgy, make you very nervous, make you very impatient and hasty. You are waiting for some news of some kind and when it comes, it's not exactly what you want. And so the evening session and night session show a bit of stress. So try to play along and go slow and be patient rather than to be a bull in a china shop. Use words which are very kind because communication planets are also seen troubling you on Saturday the 11th in the evening session especially. So that's your, that's your week for you from Taurus. Uh, do go to Facebook and uh, communicate with me, ask me questions. And that this way, I'll be able to answer your questions. And perhaps one day I can do a full horoscope for you on Skype. Until then, thank you and goodbye.